Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Thailand Outlook, the News Digest program. I'm Kachang with Chachit. Today we bring you our discussions on Thailand's commitment to global peace, human rights, and environmental conservation, as well as its ongoing collaboration with Malaysia in addressing security challenges. We are also going to be talking about Thailand's new visa exemptions for Chinese and Kazakhstani tourists. And first up in our show today. In a recent address at the United Nations General Assembly in New York City, our Prime Minister s e t a t h u i s i n highlighted Thailand's commitment to global peace, human rights, and environmental conservation, and under the theme "Rebuilding Trust and Reigniting Global Solidarity," Thailand expressed its focus on investing in peace, people, and planets for our common future. Prime Minister s e t a emphasized the country's dedication to strengthening democratic institutions, uplifting its citizens' well-being, and also fostering international partnerships for mutual prosperity. Thailand also aims to collaborate with other countries on various global challenges, including promoting sustainable peace, human rights, environmental conservation, and sustainable developments. And on the topic of sustainable peace. Thailand welcomed the Secretary General's efforts to uh, establish a new agenda for peace, emphasizing the importance of multilateral relations built on trust and cooperation to really achieve lasting peace between nations. In terms of human rights, Thailand is working to advance equality and justice, especially for vulnerable populations, uh, through the rule of law and increased transparency. Our country is a candidate. For the ASEAN Human Rights Council for the term 2025 and 2027, uh, which is reinforces its commitment to advancing human rights both domestically and internationally. Sustainable development is also a priority for Thailand, and the government plans to enact policies to stimulate job creation, uh, support low-income families, and promote a balanced, people-centered, and sustainable growth path. Our country's sufficiency economy philosophy and a bio-circular green economy model also play a very crucial role in this endeavor. Addressing climate change, the prime minister recognized the urgent need for collective action. Thailand supports climate initiatives such as the Climate Ambition Summit and is working to improve water management and farming techniques to ensure food security in the country. Uh, the administration is also committed to green finance mechanisms, um, issuing sustainability bonds, and implementing the Thailand Green Taxonomy to uh, drive investments in environmental and uh, social projects while addressing climate changes. Thailand has set ambitious targets for greenhouse gas emissions reduction, aiming for carbon neutrality by 2050 and net zero emissions by 15 years after that. And next on our agenda today, during the uh, 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly, the Prime Minister um, had a bilateral meeting with Malaysia's Prime Minister Dato Seri Anwar Ibrahim, uh, reaffirming the strong ties between the two nations. Prime Minister s e t a expressed gratitude for Malaysia's congratulatory message on his assumption of office. And convey his optimism about the future of Thailand-Malaysia relations. Both leaders also express their commitment to enhancing cooperation in areas of mutual security and prosperity. Thailand also extended an invitation to the Malaysian Prime Minister to visit our country, and discussions included the proposal for business sector meetings to boost bilateral trade and investments. The gathering also emphasized the untapped potential for increased cooperation, particularly in trade, investment, and tourism. Both countries also agreed to hold the next Thailand-Malaysia Joint Committee meeting uh, to further advance these collaborations. Malaysia um, commended Thailand's successful efforts in reviving tourism and expressed interest in tourism promotion. And the Thai Prime Minister also welcomed the growing number of Malaysian tourists visiting Thailand and look forward to hosting more of them. 
regarding the situation in the southern border area. Thailand expressed appreciation for Malaysia's support and collaboration in promoting peace and development in the region. The two sides also reaffirmed their commitment to working together to really address security challenges, including the issue of narcotics. And this bilateral meeting underscores the commitments of Thailand and, of course, Malaysia to strengthening their relationship and addressing each year challenges for the benefit of both countries. And uh, in our final story today, uh, we've been talking about this thing for quite some time. The Thai government, under the leadership of our new Prime Minister, Se Tatawi Sin, has introduced a temporary tourist visa exemption initiative for passport holders from the People's Republic of China and the Republic of Kazakhstan. And this measure, effective from September 25th of 2023 to uh, February 29th of 2024, um, is aimed at achieving Thailand's tourism revenue target for the year, uh, which stands at 2.38 trillion baht. And under this scheme, Chinese and Kazakhstani nationals can enjoy a 30-day visa exemption for tourism purposes when uh, visiting Thailand during this five-month period. And this visa exemption initiative is part of the government's quick win measures announced in September of 2023 to really bolster the Thai economy through tourism. And this is anticipated to boost inbound travel from China, which is a crucial source of tourists for Thailand as well as from Kazakhstan. During this five-month visa exemption period, uh, Thailand is expected to welcome between 1.9 to 2.8 million Chinese tourists uh, marking a year-on-year -year growth of approximately 41 to 62 percent. And this influx is projected to generate tourism income ranging from roughly 92.58 to 140 billion baht. And from Kazakhstan, Thailand foresees around 129,000 Kazakhstani tourists representing a 49.73 percent increase compared to the same period of last year and an income of approximately 7.93 billion baht. Now, the objective of this ease of traveling policy is to simplify the process for tourists by uh, saving them time and money on uh, visa applications and fees, uh, making this more convenient for them to choose Thailand as their travel destination. And with this visa exemption scheme in place, Thailand has the potential to welcome approximately 4.04 to uh, 4.4 million Chinese tourists in 2023 and achieve the forecasted revenue targets of roughly 257 billion baht. This stimulus visa program coincides uh, really with China's Golden Week, one of the country's longest holidays, taking place from October 1st to 8th uh, of this year. And during this period, airlines have shown their readiness to operate charter flights, increase flight frequencies, and introduce new routes connecting various Chinese cities to destinations in our country. And that wraps up today's edition of Thailand Outlook. We have covered some significant developments from Thailand's commitment to promoting peace and human rights to collaboration with Malaysia on security challenges and visa exemptions for Chinese and Kazakhstani tourists. Thank you for joining us, and I'll see you on the next episode. Of Thailand Outlook. I'm Kwa Chang with Chachit. Swadi Krab. Pairing world renowned healthcare with excellent hospitality and scenic locations, Thailand is a prime destination for medical tourism. Visitors to the kingdom are treated to attentive service, tropical splendor, and leading medical procedures by internationally accredited professionals transforming treatments into vacations that rejuvenate the body and mind. Thailand is ready to be the world's top destination for medical tourism. Thailand Magazine Pitch a tent, catch some fish, start a fire, put shrimp on the barbie, it's camping time! Pang Ung Supan in Supanburi is officially known as Khao Wong Reservoir, but takes its nickname from the serene lake village of Pang Ung in Mae Hong Son. Like its northern namesake, 
Pang Ung Supan lies in a peaceful lakeside forest. Visitors can rent floating bamboo pavilions and buy camping necessities from the nearby shop. Wake up to stunning sunrises on the water and wind down with a bit of fishing. But for those that prefer a bit of excitement on their camping getaway, you should check out the nearby Kasio Dam, another reservoir only 30 minutes away from Pang Ung Supan. On the far end of the dam, local vendors have set up barbecue stalls, and banana boat operators are just itching to take our braver travelers for a joyride on the lake. So, for those who like to rough it in the great outdoors, think about roasting your marshmallows at Pang Ung Supan. For more information, visit worldwideweb.tourismthailand.org.